Okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my bathroom. Um, so weird filming in here. But welcome. Hi, it's a small little bathroom, so we're going to get a bit intimate. No. Oh, that sounds wrong. No. So, I am going to dye my hair. <laughs> um, I've never, ever dyed my hair in my entire life. Not once. Um, not even highlights or anything. I don't know why I'm doing this. Don't ask me why. Like, I just got an idea. I just had a whim. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try. It, it's not, I'm not doing a permanent dye. I'm doing a semi-permanent dye. So it's Bleach London and it's violet skies I got. So it's a semi-permanent, so it supposedly lasts between two and 20 washes and vegan cruelty free, always good. Now, this probably will not work on me. I'm gonna just say that because I don't wanna bleach my hair um, and you're kind of supposed to for a color pickup, but I just wanna experiment and see if there's any sort of hue um, if I don't bleach it, because I'm not looking for like a full solid violet hair color. Um, I just want like a little bit of a kind of toning or a hue or something like that. I just want a little, mm -hmm. do you know what? Let me find the picture online of what <laughs> my inspiration for this is because it is quite cute. So this is kind of my inspiration. It's a bit of a reflection. Sorry. I hope you can see that. Um, so it's, it's brown hair with a purple hue. Now it's not going to be that shade of purple because I've got this and I don't think I'm going to get that kind of shade. Um, but I'm just going to give it a try and see how I get on. It might be a gateway into being a little bit more brave the next time with something more noticeable or more bold, but yeah. Also going into this, I know next to nothing about how to dye your hair. Uh, I've done like maybe an hour's worth of Googling and YouTubing. Um, so this could be a catastrophe. But come along for the ride and let's see what happens when I put a bottle of hair dye in my very uh, dark and <laughs> undamaged hair. Let's see. Okay, so before I start, I have to wash my hair. And uh, one thing that was coming up in my research was that you should use like a clarifying shampoo to really, really get your hair ready and prepped. I don't actually own a clarifying shampoo. So I am going to use my Inky List Salicylic Acid Scalp Treatment. It's not really the same thing as a clarifying shampoo, but it's the closest I can do. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by using this. This has to sit in your hair for about 10 minutes, but I actually love this product. I would really recommend, just as a side note, um, regardless of your hair type or scalp type or anything like that, it's always good to just give your scalp a good deep clean once in a while, maybe every week, every two weeks, even once a month, uh, but just get something kind of a deep clean in there because you've got so much dead skin, products, oil, everything just built up in there. So it's a really nice little treat for yourself. Get your scalp looking all good. I'm one to talk. My scalp is a shit show, but here we go. Okay, I'm gonna lean over my bath to do this because it can be a little bit drippy. It's not the biggest mess, but yeah. Why make a mess if you don't have to? Um, also, I curled my hair like two days ago. And no lie, I haven't brushed it since. <laughs> so it's holding, it's holding the shape really nicely. <laughs> but that's my dirty little secret, it's completely unbrushed. Um, yeah, so actually I should probably brush it. I should probably brush it before I start prepping to wash. Um, God, I hate brushing my hair when it's curly because it takes so long to get it looking right. And then if I brush it, it just all goes to, the, goes to crap. I am using a Tangle Teaser. It's uh, technically the one that's designed to use on your hair when it's wet, but I just use it as my regular hairbrush. I don't know if there's really much of a difference. <laughs> I don't know their line well enough really to comment on it, but 
It's a good hairbrush and it's really gentle on your hair. And believe the hype, they're actually brilliant brushes. They're really good. I also have one of their, I have it here actually. So this, this Tangle Teaser is for using in the shower with your shampoo. And um, you just, I usually just put shampoo on it and on my head and you just massage it on. It just helps to, again, kind of break down, build up on your scalp and really work the shampoo and maybe I'll use that as well actually. I don't use it as much now that I've been using this, but it is also a very good product, well worth looking into. No, I'll probably cover it in hairs. Is anyone else just totally grossed out by loose hairs? Like there's nothing wrong with them, but especially if they're wet as well, it's just, ugh, grosses me out so much. So hair is brushed and we're gonna lean over the bath. And this is a little pouring thing. I've see, opened it. I had no idea when I bought this, I had no idea how to open it. I was so confused. I thought I had to like snip the top off like in those old fashioned glue bottles that you used to use in school. Um, I was so confused, but it's literally, you just twist it and it comes up then. Can you see the way it's open? And I just, I had no idea. That's all there is to it. <sighs> Such a dum dum. I don't know how, I don't know how I got so confused by it. Um, so you have your nice little pointed applicator there. So um, first time I used it, I used way too much and didn't wash it out enough. That's something to definitely bear in mind. Um, don't get too overboard with it and make sure you actually properly wash it out of your hair as well, otherwise you'll have a bit of a residue. So, minimal use, plenty of washing. Hi. So, <laughs> when that goes on, you just need to get your fingers in and give it a good massage to distribute it. Make sure to get it from all angles as well. Like get it from behind and get it from in front. And then I just gather up all my hair. And I just clip it out of my way. Like that. <laughs> Real simple. Um, and you just leave that to sit for 10 minutes. And um, then you wash it out. So I won't bother turning on the camera for washing my hair. I'll just come back to you once it's actually washed. But I'll show you the products I use for washing my hair just since we're on the subject. In case it's of interest to anybody, it's probably not, but I'm gonna do it. So my shampoo is a lav. If you watch my empties videos, you'll see this come up all the time. This is pretty much my only shampoo. I don't really use any other kind. It's brilliant, it's excellent for sensitive skin. It's very simple, there's nothing really fancy about it. It doesn't really have a fragrance. So it's gentle, but it does the job and it's good quality and it's not too expensive. So, excellent one. And my conditioner is a little bit bougier. It's the JVN, it's the Embody range. Comes in this little pump bottle, which is great, very handy. And these last forever. <laughs> So I bought this initially last year in May when I was in Orlando because it was a lot more accessible in the States. It's not, well, at the time it wasn't the easiest to get over here. So I bought myself a bottle in Sephora to try it out and I loved it. And this is only my second bottle since that. So in like a year and a half, <laughs> I've gone through one and a bit of a bottle. So it lasts forever. You don't need too much of it. I use about two pumps in my hair. My hair is not particularly long right now. So two pumps is plenty for me. It has an absolutely gorgeous scent to it. And if you want to know more about like the science and the ingredients behind the JVN hair products, which is quite interesting, I would recommend checking it out. Take a look at their website, but it's got all the good stuff in it. Okay, it's time. Um, my hair is washed and towel dried and brushed through. So now we, now we do it. Okay, so the instructions on the bottle say, wearing gloves, which I've got here. These are compostable gloves, 
which I'm pretty excited about. Um, they're from Green Aware. And uh, yeah. So I've got some compostable disposable gloves. Apply generously to shampooed towel dried hair. So everything was just like saying shampooed hair rather than washed hair, um, which I took to mean that you don't put conditioner in. Um, I put conditioner in anyway, because <laughs> I just don't like not. Um, I only put a little bit in, I didn't leave it very long. I just kind of felt like not doing anything would be um, really gross on my hair. So <laughs> I probably shot myself in the foot even more, but hey, look, I did it. Um, massage or comb through mid lengths and ends before leaving to develop for 30 minutes rinse out and style as desired. So it's always about rinsing it out. Everything I've seen is rinse out. So you're not shampooing it out. You're not washing it out. You're literally just running water over it until the water runs clean um, or as close to clean as you can get it. So yeah, um, I've changed my clothes as well. Do not do this in your, in your regular clothes. Put on your painting clothes, your old clothes, um, an old towel. This is actually the turban that I wrapped my hair up in after I washed it. These are great by the way. These are so handy because they just gather up your hair and then you can just walk around hands free and your hair can towel dry a bit. They're very very handy but I don't really have many old towels going spare so this is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to do my best to not get it on me anyway. A lot of the videos I was watching, I was so amazed how many people do this with their bare hands. Absolutely not going to happen. <laughs> um, and then a lot of people were just kind of doing it down onto their chest. So like they put it in and just let their hair sit there and there. And they had completely like colored patches, just like orange or purple or pink or whatever color they were using. They just had like these messes. <laughs> so I'm going to try and minimize that as much as possible because that is not the vibe for me. Um, and then also I was seeing some information about wrapping your hair up in cling film. So I think we've all seen like the <laughs> 90s and early noughties makeover movies where the girl has her hair wrapped up in cling film. So that's gonna be me to get it up and away out of the way of my clothes, out of the way of my furniture because we've gotta obviously walk around with this in for half an hour. So I just don't want any transfer on anything. So I have this ready to go and I've also got some Kitchen towel, which was another recommendation I saw. Oh, I should get wet wipes as well. Grab some water wipes. These are lovely. So um, yeah, basically just ready for any kind of spills or messes. Oh my God, wish me luck. <laughs> so actually I did see one person. I liked the idea of it, but I won't do it today because I don't want to interfere with any um, effect that the dye is gonna have on my hair, but somebody did mix it with conditioner, which is a lovely idea because then you kind of get a bit of a hair mask as well. But I'm not gonna do that. And then also, because this stuff washes out, um, if I leave conditioner sitting in my hair for half an hour, my hair is going to get very weighed down and it's not gonna do very well and I'm gonna need to wash it a lot sooner than I'd like. These are fun. <laughs> These straight up just look like the bin bags. I use this brand for bin bags. And uh, yeah, feels like I'm just putting a bin bag on my hand. Okay, here we go. I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> what if I ruin my hair? Ugh. I know it won't be ruined, ruined. I know I could just probably go to the hairdresser and they've seen this a million times and they can just dye it back to whatever color I want it to be. Um, and hair grows and I can get a cut. Uh, 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 oh, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous, okay. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my cling film ready because <laughs> I feel like this is not gonna be easy to do once I'm covered in hair dye. I'll leave a, a length of it pulled out, ready to go. Okay, I just clipped the top half of my hair up because I'm not going for like a whole even solid color all over my head. I'm not too particular about the distribution, but at the same time, I've got a lot of hair and I don't want to wind up caking it on one place, just trying to get it through to the underside or whatever. So I just put the top half up. I'll do the bottom half and I'll do the top half. And hopefully it'll just be 
you know, a little bit more even. I don't even think I'm going to use the whole bottle. Maybe I should because at least then if I'm going to get any color, I will. But that being said, like I don't want to do a super bold color either. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see how we get on anyway. Um, let's give it a shake, I guess. And then, oh wow. Oh, oh wow, okay. I mean, not that I was expecting less because it always comes out a really strong color because obviously then it fades. Yikes, okay, here we go. Oh, oh it's like a slug. <laughs> okay, let's start with that. No, let's start with a little bit more because my hands are gonna get dirty pretty quickly. All right. Jesus, okay. All right, okay. I have to use the camera as a mirror. I didn't even think this through. Uh, oh my God, oh, my hair feels so weird. It's so like thick. Ooh. I don't even know what kind of motions to do to just get a like highlighty kind of distribution, but I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. Just doing a little bit of twiddling, a little bit of scrunching, a little bit of wiping, I guess. Should I get a mirror for this? Oh, hang on. Right, I've moved my my little mirror cabinet, opened it up so I can see it from here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm such a baby. <laughs> I'm putting temporary hair dye in that's probably not even gonna show up on my dark hair and I'm giddy about it. <laughs> such a loser. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Another big gross slug. <laughs> it's really nasty. Okay. Okay, let's angle this way so I can see my mirror. Even though I'm over the floor now. Oh, it's touching my neck. Oh no. Oh no, don't leave a color on my neck. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Maybe I'm not using enough. It smells okay. It kind of smells like leg wax, actually, which is interesting. So a little bit of getting the fingers in, a little bit of focusing on the ends. Good grief, okay. Here we go. Here's the bottom half done. Take this clip down. I'm using this clip because I don't really care about getting dye in it, so bear that in mind as well. If you're gonna use any of your hair implements, any balbums or any... Oh my God, don't fall. Oh my God, I dropped it. It's okay. Jesus Christ, <laughs> and it on the toilet paper. It's fine, <laughs> it's fine. Oh my God. Yeah, as I was saying, try not to get this on things you don't want to get it on. Um, but I was gonna use a bobbin to tie up my hair once it's all in, but I didn't really see anybody doing that. And I think it's probably because the bobbin might rub that section. So whatever part of your hair is touching the bobbin probably gets a little bit rubbed off. So, okay, all right, here we go. Just working it in. I'm not gonna try and get it too much in my roots because God forbid it goes wrong. Then I've done the whole hair. Um, so I am trying to keep it more towards the ends. Just as like a fail safe in case I need to get my hair cut. <laughs> God, these gloves are really awkward. Okay, a little bit of a... I'm not putting it directly on, I'm just using whatever is left over on the gloves up here. So, yeah, I'm not too fussed about like combing it through. I know a lot of the tutorials were saying to get a wide tooth comb and comb it through. But again, I feel like that's just gonna be too even. So I've coated everything more or less, but the top is still a little bit bare, so I'll we'll put a bit more in. Might as well give it its best shot, you know? Use a big handful of it. I'm gonna lean over the bath to do this. I think I'm supposed to use the whole bottle. It's unclear. I'm gonna keep going. 
So that's about three quarters of the bottle used and like the body of my hair oh, is well coated. It's actually not leaving too much of a residue like on my shoulders or my neck or anything, which is good. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people getting the color on their hairline and stuff. Um, they say to put like Vaseline or conditioner or something there to prevent that, but like that I'm not going all the way up into my roots, so I don't think it's going to be a huge issue for me either way, but I think this is a fairly subtle dye that might not actually do that. So everything's fairly well coated. The top is a little bit more bare than the underside, which I'm okay with because it might give more of a kind of balayage type look, um, which I always thought I'd like to do, but again, like that just never really wanted to get into the whole dyeing my hair world, especially considering it's so expensive. There's so much maintenance involved um, that it just wasn't ready for me. Now, again, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to be scrunching my hair, but <laughs> I'm just gonna do it because it might follow the natural contour of my, of my natural waves. Then um, I am gonna style my hair once I've washed it. But yeah, okay, all right. I'm gonna ditch the gloves so that I can use the cling film. We're gonna get this wrapped up. Even my hands didn't really get stained touching my hair for a minute there. Don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. All right, let's try from this direction. <laughs> okay. There is my little cling film hat. Okay. Well, there I guess we set a timer for half an hour. I'm gonna stay in my old clothes until it's all rinsed out, just to make sure. Half an hour, off we go. Okay, um, timer went off. Um, 30 minutes, I left it another kind of five or 10 minutes after that, just to really get it in there. And I have now rinsed it out. And so far I can't tell any difference at all, so I'm not sure that it worked. Um, but I'm gonna go blow dry it and put a little curl in it to give it that kind of like shape and you know, um, hopefully it'll start showing up when it's dry. Wish me luck. All right, so I'm in my slightly less well lit bedroom now, so sorry about the change in quality there, but um, let my hair sit in the turban for a few minutes, got the heavy wet out of it. I've changed back into my regular clothes because I'm pretty confident there won't be any transfer to worry about now. Quite a bit of curl going on with that. That's surprising. Obviously, I won't really be able to talk to you while I'm like drying my hair and stuff. So um, I'm gonna start with some Bumble and Bumble Curl Primer. Uh, there it is. It doesn't look like this anymore. They've changed the packaging, which is quite sad because I really like this design. But I think they do still make the product. It's just, this is a very old bottle. It's almost gone. And I just do a couple of sprays. I haven't brushed my hair yet. Um, so just a couple of sprays. I'm really almost gone. Moving my hair around just so that it gets everywhere. And then tangle teaser again. And I just start with the ends gently and start working up. Now I wouldn't do this if I wasn't blow drying my hair. Um, I've been actually letting my hair dry naturally a lot lately. So I wouldn't even go near it with a brush when it was wet. So that I really get the natural wave locked into it. But because I'm going to be styling my hair, I will need to brush it through. So just getting any knots out, getting the product distributed. There we go. So what I do first, is I rough dry with my Lanai Blow Rose Gold without an attachment, just give it a rough dry. I don't use the hottest setting, I only use kind of the, the medium one. And then when I've got it sort of halfway dry, I'll put the nozzle on it and I'll blow dry it in sections with a rain brush. Just helps to smooth it out. And then when it's dry, I use my T3 hair curler and it's one of these ones with detachable heads 
So you just have the one body and then you can have multiple heads on it. So I'll use this and I'll probably just do two sections. Sometimes I'll do three if I'm looking for like a very big curl and, and a lot of curl. And, but I'll probably just do this in two halves and it's a tapered, I think it's, I think it's one and a half at its thickest. Okay, so it is a 1.25 inch barrel that tapers all the way up to 0.75 at the top. So kind of a natural look um, rather than it all being uniform. So that's my routine and I'm gonna put my podcast on while I do it. Okay, so that is it dried. So see, it's not like a perfect blow dry, but it definitely smooths the hair out, which I find gives you a nicer curl because you're not kind of fighting your own natural texture and forcing it into a weird shape. So that is why I tried to get it all smoothed out before I curl it. So good blank canvas to start with. It's really dark in here. I might try a little slight change in angle. So that is how I curl my hair. I'm desperately trying to see if there's any, any little bit of color in there that wasn't there to begin with. And sadly, I think not. Now, I don't leave it like this. I just wanna say that as well. I'm just giving it a minute to cool down. I'm trying to see, I'm gonna to move to different lights. I might even step outside and see if I can tell the difference. It doesn't look like it did anything, which in fairness, the bottle does kind of warn about. It says, you know, if you use it on dark hair, it's not gonna do anything. I just figured that was them covering themselves so they didn't have a whole bunch of people complaining to them if it didn't show up on the dark hair. But yeah, it seems to be a little bit more than just a covering bases kind of comment, so. That's a shame. Now, I know everybody says to like separate the curls, run your fingers through it. That looks awful on me. Oh my God, it's the worst thing I could do because what it does is it just kind of stacks the curls. Um, they don't actually fall properly. So I just kind of give it a wiggle. Um, just to, like, I guess, take away the tension of the curls. Just, so I'll wiggle from my roots down to maybe like my temples just ab above my ears that kind of section might even go in with just like a very loose claw and just to kind of shake 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 and what i often do when i'm curling as well once i've curled a section and it's had a minute to set and cool i'll actually just grab I'll grab the end of it and I'll just give it a tug. Um, firm, but gentle. And again, that just sort of releases the tension a little bit and puts it more into a wave shape. Because it's quite polished right now. I don't mind too much because I'm not really going anywhere. So I don't really mind if it takes another hour or two to, to settle down and fall into a, a nicer shape. But, here we go. All right, let's go wander around the house and see if we can find any better light. Oh my God, I gotta get up. Oh, this is how I know I'm getting older because each year that I sit on the floor filming videos and then get up after it. God. <laughs> All right, okay. So 
Yeah, the lighting in my house just isn't great at all. So here I am a little closer to the window. I'm not really seeing any. Oh, is that a little, a little something there? <gasps> I think it is. Oh, that's fun. Okay. It's obviously not what I'm looking for, but just so I know it wasn't a complete waste of my time. Okay. All right, let's try the bathroom light. Ignore any mess you might see behind me because this house is chaos. Hmm, I don't know guys, I don't know. I don't think it was successful. Oh, that's a real shame. Bathroom has the best lights, so I don't think we're gonna get anything better anywhere else. Yeah, I think there's an ever so slight suggestion of it in some areas. But I don't know, is that just me looking for anything purple as well? So, look, I guess it was a bit of a failure. <laughs> but I'm glad I tried. Uh, there are other ones that might work better on darker hair, so I'll look into my other options. I know there's a Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf, that brand anyway, they do one. Um, and a lot of them are more suitable for darker hair or kind of have a better effect on darker hair. So I'll look into those, but unfortunately they're not cruelty free. So I'd be very reluctant um, because I do very much try to prioritize cruelty free products as much as I can. Um, of course, there are some things now and then that, um, that aren't, but as much as possible, I definitely try to get cruelty free. So that might not be top of my priority list. Wow, these are big curls. <laughs> I have to say my hair actually feels good after the product. So like it didn't leave it feeling dry or unconditioned or anything like that. So that's quite reassuring. But wow, look at the, look at the curl. Just spray this and see if I can hang on to it. Okay, so yeah, uh, summing up. <laughs> Unfortunately, probably can't recommend this for brunettes who don't want to lighten their hair in order to put a temporary color in it. Um, I'm sure maybe if you have lighter hair, it might be okay. Like there's the picture on the back of, you know, if you go from like bleached hair, that's the color you'll get. So I guess it's just too light, too subtle for dark hair. But let me know if you've tried it actually. I'd love to hear if anyone watching this has tried that brand or if you yourself have brown hair and you've done something like I'm trying to do, if you have any tips or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, but other than that, I guess this was a bit of a, a hair routine kind of video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I lost my towel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is, this is intense. Should I like squish it onto the top of my head? I probably should, can I? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, why can't I do this?